Bryce Canyon. Let's start off with the fact that Bryce Canyon ain't actually a canyon, it's a collection of amphitheaters. And what the heck is an amphitheater? An amphitheater is a bowl-shaped area created by the draining of seasonal rains and melting snow, contrary to a canyon, which is typically shaped by flowing rivers. And this national park is particularly famous for having the largest collection of hoodoos. Hoodoo, hoodoo, hoodoo. Which are these very distinctive rock columns that form over millions of years from that very same erosion I was just talking about. And they do sort of look like Cheetos. Dangerously cheesy. Mmm. And views of this Bryce Amphitheater include Bryce Point, Inspiration Point, Sunset Point, Sunrise Point, and more. And we're gonna see as many as we can, as well as do the Queen's Garden and Navajo Loop trail hike. Hike the Hoodoos. There's no water. <laughs> it's dry as fuck. <laughs> and all you have to eat are these little chipmunks. <laughs> You're gonna need at least 15 to keep alive for one more day. <laughs> And they're really hard to catch because they fast. <laughs> they really fast. This will be our fourth national park we visited out of Utah's Mighty Five. Oh, oh. And it also oh, happens yeah. to be the smallest one in Utah. Prepare to get petrified. Dude, it really is like stone. And only 72 miles from its neighbor, Zion National Park. Dude, this is the land of Cheeto dust. Wow. This is so cool! Woo. Good morning! Good morning. How you doing? National Park Pass, driver's license. Hey, would you like a math? Dude, National Park Rangers are such characters. You get all types of people. He was a little bit more shy. Yeah, but he had a cool hat and everything. <laughs> so wait, first thing we're doing is the loop? Is this the visitor center? Let's pull in here. Okay. Why is it that every time I go to talk, <laughs> You're eating your sandwich, dude. I'm supposed to wait, but you know what? It sounded, it's it's lunchtime. It sounded good. It's lunchtime. Just made it into Bryce Canyon National Park, and the first thing that we did, and we're really trying to get better at, is to stop at the visitor center to watch a film if they have it. This place is color and light. It's always such a great insight into what we're getting ready to see so that we do have some background history and understanding of the park. Wanna adopt a prairie dog? So we got up super early this morning, got our coffee. We got our water. Made a pit stop, clean the windshield, you know, you gotta get those clear shots. <laughs> and today the plan is doing the scenic drive, which is between usually three to four hours, they say, depending on how many times you stop. And believe me, first impression so far, there's tons of pullouts, tons of places to see viewpoints. So we're gonna be doing some of that and taking our time. Gotta stop and see all the views. And also fit in at least one hike. So, yes, yeah, so there's some trees, because <laughs> we got that butterscotch vanilla scent. <laughs> It's that time of year. And what this national park is mainly known for is its sweeping views of the hoodoos. Definitely has otherworldly vibes. A little bit of that extraterrestrial Martian, you know? I'm looking for a Martian out here. Where's Katy Perry, dude? Matt Damon, where you at? <laughs> Surprise. And a few quick facts. Bryce Canyon was named after a Mormon pioneer named Ebenezer. Bryce. I love that name, Ebenezer. Ebenezer. The only other Ebe gotta squeeze <laughs> The only other Ebenezer I know is Ebenezer Scrooge. I'm yes. a and what was really cool is right before entering Bryce Canyon National Park, we drove through Dixie National Forest and I was just blown away by how rich the red and orange colors were there. I almost feel like they were richer than Bryce Canyon so far. But I know that once the sun sets here, and that light hits those hoodoos with like a paintbrush <laughs> on a canvas, it's gonna pop. Oh, oh my dude. God. <laughs> that is insane. Wow. Yo, who knew about them hoodoos? <laughs> you can literally see windows. Oh, Back yeah. they're like the same exact shape, too. Wow. Dude, and the color's so rich at the bottom. So we learned there's technically hoodoos like all over the country, 
but you will find the most hoodoos, like the most concentrated amount of hoodoos here in Bryce Canyon National Park. And that right there, that is trippy. My God, they all look cloned, like thousands and thousands of hoodoos. <laughs> We'll have them for sunset. This is freaking crazy. Yo. Starting to switch backs, yo. <laughs> well, you know. <laughs> Everywhere we stop, there's a new view. So what's interesting about this hike so far, it's really been fun getting down, you know? Get down on it. Come on it's pretty steep downwards though. They've been battling for the last 15 minutes. I have the shittiest whistle as well, so I'm pretty excited that this is kind of working. But we're communicating. He's letting me know the Cheetos are that way. <laughs> Not to sound too artsy, because I'm, I'm far from being artsy, but artsy fartsy. But um, I think what's kind of unique and special about Bryce Canyon is its interaction with light. I think as the day progresses and as we've been kind of driving around, it changes. Like the feeling of Bryce changes on you as time goes and that's kind of cool and so we haven't even made it to sunset yet which is supposedly the most beautiful time to be here most magical the most magical time but we're excited about it we're, we're looking forward to it so anyways we have yet to set a successful chipmunk trap but we're working on it anyways <laughs> dude these are just insane wearing my navajo ring made by an actual Navajo Indian named David Rosales. I got this at Thunder Eagle in Williams, Arizona. Best ring shop I've ever found for men in the whole country. <laughs> I feel like it's good luck because made by a Navajo Indian and I'm on the Navajo Loop Trail. Yeah, buddy. Keeping it real. That's Cheeto dust right there. Nathan. <laughs> So in that video in the visitor center, they were saying that there's this tree that smells like vanilla and butterscotch, and I found it. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, it's not freaking me out. Seriously, you're a little uh, too much. It actually smells really good. <laughs> oh my gosh. Let me get a sniff. It almost has like a hint of caramel. Let me get a sniff. Let's see. Are you freaking? Holy <laughs> That smells like a... Like a Starbucks Frappuccino. It does. That's exactly what I was thinking about Starbucks Frappuccino. Oh my God. What does that say about us? Dude, that is amazing. Hey, have you sniffed this tree yet? I have not. I haven't been down there yet. <laughs> Literally, I know it sounds bizarre, but you have to smell it. We are told there's a butterscotch tree. It smells like a Starbucks Frappuccino. A thousand percent. It is so... Freaking bizarre. That is amazing. So the people of Whoville are the opposite of snowbirds because they love the winter. They're summer swans and in the summertime they like to go spend their time in the hoodoos. And while in Bryce Canyon, expect to see mainly three things. Canyon walls, windows, and hoodoos. And right behind me on my left is what I call a bibi window. And we'll be back next year to see if that bibi window becomes an adolescent window. <laughs> Going through a tunnel. You see two little people out there. Ooh, I like this. <laughs> wow. We keep stopping to just take in the views. My God, look how beautiful this place is. Like everywhere we turn. You're right, it is all about, all about light. But I gotta say something I really love about this hike. We're going through different tunnels and around really big rocks, a lot of switchbacks. I don't know, I just feel like it's very it's diverse, safe. you know? It's safe. 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10. My glutes. <laughs> and we're off. We are leaving sunset and sunrise point where we just did our hike. Now we're hoping to catch 
an awesome sunset at Inspiration Point, and hopefully we get some of those crazy colors popping oh, out. Hey, we get some of that inspiration to rub off. <laughs> See, not even busy in the parking lot. You know why? Because people are too darn cold. <laughs> They're like, I'm out. I ain't even waiting the sunset. So uh, I think I messed up. <laughs> I don't think this is the right spot. Because based on where the sun's at right now, I feel like we're going to be blocking any kind of light that's going to shoot over these hoodoos. This is what we're looking at. It's still beautiful, but there's just no light on the well, No, but maybe we'll have like, I don't know, maybe some pink cloud. No, there is no clouds. What am I saying? I don't know. Thank you. At this point, we're too far invested to go anywhere else because we're not going to, it's here or nothing. It probably explains why parking was so easy. Now I feel silly, dude. We've decided to walk to Upper Inspiration Point. Sun is over there peeking through. And we thought this made sense because this is the highest point and there's two views. There's a view up there. And then there's also this little area. Wow, okay. I think this is a good spot. Alright, man. <laughs> if you end up naked, like, it's your fault. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I warned you. And they did. Yeah. <laughs> Ooh, and we are staying in a hotel. Yeah, buddy. We're staying at the Ruby Inn. This is a splurge for us. Last week, we were staying at a hotel as well to see the Grand Canyon and Petrified Forest National Park. It's just much easier without the travel trailer and leaving it behind at the RV park and just exploring like full on for a day or two. That's why we decided. <laughs> oh my gosh, it was such a long day. Well, it froze last night. Got a five star breakfast buffet. I was gonna go, you know, my first round, I was gonna be responsible and go light, and, and, but unfortunately it didn't happen. So, this is kind of what I'm beginning with. I got my bagel, and cream cheese, biscuits and gravy, pancake, bacon, potatoes, eggs, a side of butter, and a coffee. This was included in the room. When it comes to the breakfast, super thing in a hotel, I mean, it's not incredible, but. It'll get, it'll get the job done when we set for Capital Reef. Bear Grylls here from Man vs. Wild. I don't know why I have an Aussie accent now instead of a British one. But I will say out here in Bryce Canyon, you're gonna die. <laughs> Gosh, people, I can't. Do the like, Man, I can't. Do the I'm not gonna no, say, I'm gonna say it quiet then. No, no, do it. Right. No, no, no. Go, 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 just I can't. Who do? <laughs>